So uh, Keaton also uh, visited Nikki Haley's campaign <laughs> event, and this has actually saved this because this is the headliner. Um, <laughs> Nikki Haley is going to pretend to she's going to get a heckler, not Keaton. And then she's going to do that <laughs> bullshit where she says, oh, isn't it great? We have a great country. I actually appreciative. And then she's going to pay for it. Here we go. Watch this. You are a climate criminal. Trump is a climate criminal. You are all aiding and embedding the destruction of our future. All right. So that guy is attacking her on the climate change front, saying they're all climate criminals. And the cops are taking him out, right? So he's being disruptive. And the cops are taking him out. Now, watch how she responds to this. Uh, you know what we need to what we all need to remember is I'm grateful for protesters like that because that's what my husband and military men and women sacrifice for us every day to be out with them. Okay, here it comes. That's the setup. <laughs> and here comes the punchline. All right, well, good. Here's one more then. Here's one more. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Now, here's one more then. I'll be a disruptive <laughs> protester. And that's you doing that, right, Keaton? That's me, yeah. Okay, and here he goes. You're, you're happy no, we're not going to do that. So first <laughs> <you're ready. laughs> That's great. Okay, we're not going to do that. <laughs> the staggering is a great idea. Yeah, of course. Okay, yeah. Participation trophy, all-time best of these. Hilarious. All of the things I've ever seen of disruption or the thing. But the Love staggering it. is a great idea, man. That's like a have a cascade of <laughs> as they say, they think it's over and then you just get it going again. <laughs> yeah. She well, actually who's Kate Keaton, who's whose event was it recently where they just kept bombarding them? That was a Richie Torres event where the was that Torres? Network guys yeah, kept, where he just kept disrupting it. <laughs> that was great. So should I play the rest of that? You don't really say anything. They just kick you out immediately, right? Well, he says hey, a couple uh, things. Here, I'll, I'll say play a couple it. things I'll about the retirement. You said you're grateful for protesters. Okay, let her talk. Get out of here. Seniors should work till they're 80, right? Let's go if you're out. You want to raise the retirement age so seniors can work till they're 80. So the Nazis in Ukraine can get the money. And the mass murdering Nazis in Israel can get the money. I mean, she's like, well, what? Okay, so that was actually very well said. She said what? Because she recently said that we need to raise the retirement age. You go, people should work till they're eighty, yeah, and that's so we could send that money to Ukraine, right? We could send it to Nazis in Ukraine, and uh, that was very good. That was very, very well done. Um, they well, that was what I was planning on saying because Trump has been hitting her on on uh, Social Security. Um, and she says that she doesn't want to cut Social Security, but uh, she obviously does want to raise the retirement age, which will have the effect of cutting Social Security. And I bet she wants to cut it on top of that. <laughs> most most Republicans do. Um, but she talked a lot in her previous day's uh, speech about the American dream, about seniors and stuff like that. Meanwhile, she does want to raise the uh retirement age and spend a lot of money in these awards. And on top of that, she said before that, that Trump and Biden were unfit because they're too old. Well, you want to raise the retirement age. Huh. So you want people working until they're 80. So, so how are they, why are they too old? Isn't that part of the course? So that was what I was going to say. But then when that kid went ahead of me, I was like, as soon as she said, I'm grateful for protesters, I'm like, oh, okay, well, now I have a great answer. <laughs> <laughs> because now I'll add a little irony to it. Now it'll be fun. I loved how she goes, no, we're not doing that. And you go, you uh, said you were grateful. You just said you were grateful. <laughs> I, 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 I'm just trying to make your day here. Your husband's overseas fighting for this. <laughs> While you're out catting around, I hear. <laughs> Yeah. Well, she, she said at the end of that, she said, she said at the end of that on my way out, I heard her say something like, in Russia, you couldn't do that. Well, apparently I can't do it here either. Because <laughs> the cops are yeah. trying to me out. What in the hell? Yeah, right, let me see. Let me play the rest <laughs> of this. <laughs> Watch yourself, Keegan. You wouldn't live much longer. If I were in Russia, I wouldn't live much longer. Oh, is that oh, what she okay. said? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. so at least they're going to let you live here. At least they let me live. You should be it's funny. Grateful. The cop pointed me through these double doors, and I was like... What's through these double doors? This is a Haley event. Is this like some makeshift Guantanamo torture chamber through these doors? Or is this an exit? Is yeah, there a through box and it was of an Ventura exit. and uh, tubing in there? <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> a gimp and a box of Ventura. No, thankfully, it was just 
just the exit. Just the exit, and I was on my way. So they're really hoping that uh, Democrats vote for Nick, because the New Hampshire is one of those states where you can vote for whoever you want. You don't, it's not just Republicans voting in a Republican primary and only Democrats voting in a, You can cross over and vote. For, so they're trying to get Democrats, because Joe Biden is not on the ballot in New Hampshire, correct? No, he's not, but the super PACs are funding a write-in campaign for Biden. <laughs> and the write-in campaign is winning. This is what I mean. The Democratic voters are just fucking brain dead. Like, the guy's not even participating. He's got his super PACs telling you to write him in, and they're writing him in. But a lot of Democrats uh, are uh, going to these Haley events. Uh, we're going to show the footage later on our, our show that uh, I interviewed some people outside. There were a lot of independents, a lot of Democrats going to uh, this rally. And so she will get uh, some independents and some Democrats. That's probably why she's polling as high as she is, which I got to say – New Hampshire has this reputation, you know, they call themselves the live free or die state. They have this very libertarian maverick reputation. They seem like just a bunch of centrist, warmongering, normie douchebags to me. I mean, they seem pretty normie. I don't think that reputation of theirs is well earned. Why is it Joe Biden? You don't have any gigs coming up in New Hampshire, do you? So, uh, no, but why I'm is going to say go ahead, there goes New Hampshire <laughs> for uh, Jimmy's show <laughs> yeah, on our right. show. Why is it? Why is it Joe Biden on the ballot in New Hampshire? Because New Hampshire is insisting that they go first on the primary calendar and Biden wanted to help rig the primary by putting South Carolina first. So the DNC moved South Carolina first, but the state of New Hampshire insists that according to their state law, they have to go first. And so the DNC is not counting any of the delegates from New Hampshire. So it's just a bragging rights scrimmage. That Biden is not even participating in because he's saying we want South Carolina to go first. So that's just and another. He's still winning. He's still winning as a write-in. And that's just another way that the DNC and uh, rig a primary. Uh, right. They they they're going to move up the most favorable state for Joe Biden to be first. They're going to ignore the ones that he, that aren't favorable to. I mean, it's just one rig. And he wins the state. Think about this. He's disenfranchising the state. He's disenfranchising the voters of the state, and they're going to write him in anyway. But to save democracy, Keaton. This is for right. the. We yeah. gotta <laughs> show those mega Republicans that we're behind right. Joe. Yeah. Uh. You, you, you'll understand when I say that I'm actually pessimistic on the future of America. <laughs> yes. I'm pretty Me pessimistic well, on the I, president That's what I tried America, to communicate to Mary. As well as the past. <laughs> yeah, I'm pessimistic <laughs> on the president and the past also. Uh, you know, honestly, traveling around the country as much as I have been post-COVID, it's, uh, yeah, it's the same everywhere. You're, you're not going to find any place in a collapsing country that isn't collapsing. So every place you go is a place that's experiencing its demise in its own peculiar way. So you come to New Orleans. I want, I accidentally wound up at a memorial to a recently deceased local blues musician. And everybody there was old. It was a pretty small crowd trying to carry on the old traditions. But you could see that's all dying. Going to your neck of the woods, L.A. I was talking to you about that. You know, it's not like it was when I first got there, you know, like it or don't like it. There was an exuberant spirit of celebration there. doesn't feel like that anymore. New York, I bitch about it all the time. People say, if you move out of New York, won't you miss it? I say, I miss it now. What would the difference be? So you see that everywhere. You're not going to go anywhere in America that is not being affected by this decline and this collapse. It's uh, uh, on that note, make sure you vote blue. <laughs> <laughs> you know how you can measure it? Uh, the Pornhub relative porn search map of America, New Hampshire, number one relative porn search on Pornhub is pierced. So, yeah, pierced? That, that's pierced. how nor pierced. That's a normie bore. That's like a hot topic was a state level of boring <laughs> of a porn search. Hey, I'm putting a substantial percentage of my retirement and financial future savings into gold and silver. 
That's why I decided to partner with our sponsor, Colonial Metals Group. They helped me set up a safe and secure self-directed IRA where I have access to my assets no matter what the stock market does or, for that matter, what the government does. So there's a team of experts at Colonial Metals Group. They're going to help you protect your family's future. We put together a special offer for our audience. Click on the link. In the description below, or call the special 800 number. Yeah, it's 888-910-1419. That's 888-910-1419. And you will receive a safe and up to 10 grand in free silver, eh? Check that out. Colonial Metals Group. Hey, come see us do a live stand-up show. We're going to be in Palmdale, California, Omaha, Nebraska, Des Moines, Milwaukee, Lansing, Michigan, Bend, Oregon, Portland, Oregon, Seattle, Washington, Philadelphia, Boston, and more. Go to JimmyDoor.com for a link for those tickets. And we're adding a second show in London. (laughs) 